All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we have for you Keiichiro Yamamiya versus Katsuomi Inigaki. Nice counter! Right slap by Inigaki there. He caught Kei's on his face and just slung one straight back. Of course, uh, if they looked exactly the same, this would be a very confusing fight because they're both in baby boy blue trunks. Conveniently, Inigaki is a bit bigger. Uh, different facial structure and has got his left elbow taped up because everybody in Pancras fights injured all the time. Nice kick on the exit there by Inagaki. He seems to be taking control of the fight with the impetuous young boy Kei Yamamiya. Who, well, let's not lie, did a pretty good job in the uh, Neo Blood tournament. He just got unlucky with his matchups. Excuse me. <clears throat> Nice double leg, of course, and we're into the guard of Katsuomi Inigaki. Attempted scissor sweep there, but Yamamiya stepped right over. Underhook escape by Inigaki. Good knee on the stand up by Kei Yamamiya. Uh, Inigaki has fairly securely taken the center of the ring here. Nice uh, entry with those slaps there by Kei Yamamiya, but he has not seemed to hurt. Our oh, man, good inside low. Nice double leg on that timing. Uh, pretty good attempt to stave off that takedown, but Inigaki could not finish the sprawl. He's tried for a double wrist lock here. But Yamami is keeping his elbow pinched and has managed to pass to half guard. Uh, nice regard from Katsuomi Inigaki, seeing that more and more, seeing people catch up guard once again. But nice pass by Kei Yamamiya. In fact, he should be able to finish it. Don't know qu what, quite what's going on with those videos. We're getting these little uh, black patches, but that's all right. Alright, uh, Kei's got that pass, but backdoor escape by Inigaki, and Kei has returned to standing. Nice backdoor escape, it was very pretty. Yeah. Inigaki's walking him down, counter slaps, ooh, hard! Uh, right slap there, and on the kick, once again, Kei Yamamiya has hit a nice uh, knee pick, I'll call that one. Uh, using a knee slice pass to take top, but he is caught up in the butterfly guard of Katsuomi Inagaki. <laughs> Ref has stood them up due to the presence of the ropes. Sorry about that noise. Some Titna Holden's driving around and making a lot of noise in their car. Good low kick. Another good low kick. That one sent Inigaki's leg flying. Oh, that one knocked the feet out from under him. Nice strikes by Inigaki here. He seems to have gotten a lot of confidence. Uh, double unders from Kei Yamamiya. Inigaki seems to be trying to separate or just land knees, maybe. Oh, no, he's got a single underhook. Nice knee. Good collar tie, and he used that to land a low kick. Ooh, good bitch slaps from Inigaki, but he slipped on that high kick, and Yamamiya is now on top. Uh, most of the way to side control, although Inigaki's got some frames in and has recovered Butterfly Guard. Well, most of Butterfly Guard. One, two, from Kei Yamamiya. And Inigaki did an alright job of taking those on his forearms. Good cuffing right hand from Yamamiya and a nice knee in the clinch. Not Yamamiya, Inigaki. Inigaki is just hammering the poor young boy here. Uh, Yamamiya has tried for that knee, for those clinch knees, which he has quite nice ones, but uh, good blocks from Inigaki. Good right hand on the exit by Inigaki as well. Inside low, counter left straight from, Inig from Yamamiya. See, I'm getting the two confused because of the damn trunks. Pick different colors, you dorks. Uh, 
All right, Inigaki struck into the clinch. Body punch from Yamamiya. He's got Inigaki on the ropes, so he should be able to do some damage here. Uh, Inigaki switched to a overhook. Uh, Yamamiya is using it to give himself double unders. Although Inigaki's managed to walk himself out of the corner and shoved it out of the clinch. Oh, nice slap! That one must have rung the uh, yeah, must have set a ringing of the ears of. Yamamiya there. They are fixing Inigaki's knee pads. Good cheekbones on Yamamiya. Handsome dude. Inside low. Another inside low. Those are sending... Uh, Yamamiya's leg flying. He's managed to check that one, but he's eaten a couple of strikes. Nicely stuffed that takedown and a good uh, clinch knee. He's got, a, he's got Inigaki here a little bit. Although Inigaki seems to have managed to uh, grab the clinch and stop that damage from coming in. Mixing in a takedown attempt here would be a good way to land some more of those strikes. Poor knee attempt by Inigaki. Sort of hit... He didn't have the hip extension on it, so he just sort of bumped into Yamamiya's arms, whereas that was a much nicer knee. He had a good hip in that one from Yamamiya. Slap on the exit by Inigaki. Oh, Inigaki is winging slaps at Yamamiya's head and kneeing him in the face. Inigaki's not going to take any shit from no young boys. Another inside low. Oop. Missing outside low from Inigaki, and he spun around there. 1-2 from Inigaki into the clinch. See if he's able to do more damage than Yamamiya. No, Yamamiya's hit a nice uh, knee strike and turned Inigaki onto the ropes, and the boys have exchanged strikes, and we are now stuck here again. That uh, underhook, there's a strong whizzer from Inigaki that's sort of stopping Yamamiya from doing anything. See how... Uh, Yamamiya's underhook wasn't all the way up to the shoulder, it was only sort of elbow deep. The wizard from Inigaki was stopping that. Good clinch strikes from Inigaki, he's doing a good job of beating up Yamamiya here. Good low kick as well. Those changes in camera angles had me worried that it was a bit missing from the tape. Nice double leg, nicely timed, and a good uh, corner turn there by Inigaki. He has dumped Yamamiya on the ground. Yamamiya's recovered butterfly guard, although... <sighs> Excuse me. Having a bit of a yawn. Uh, Yamamiya's knees were stuck together, and so he was going to have a bit of trouble keeping... Butterfly guard. Uh, Inigaki very briefly passed, but nice regard from your Mia. Uh, leg weave or leg drag by uh, Inigaki trying to secure a pass here. Yeah, he's trying for the uh, sort of Texas cloverleaf uh, leg weave pass, but that didn't quite work out for him. I think he went the wrong way. Oh, nearly uh, ducked back on the toe hold, but Yamamiya dragged him in. And the ref has decided that they shall stand up and fight like men. In speedos and wearing shit pads, of course. That is the way real men fight. Front kick to the body from Inigaki there. Yamamiya doesn't seem too bothered about it. Good knees from Yamamiya off that one to clinch entry. Good low kick in the clinch from Inigaki. Good way to land low kicks if you're having trouble is just sling him in there when you're in the clinch. Uh, over under clinch here. Inigaki's trying to guillotine. Yamamiya's recovered his head. Another one of those clinch lows. Clinch knee from Inigaki on the exit. One, two, nicely done. Good palm strikes, body punch from Inigaki, back into this clinch here. Oh, 
Nice palm strike. Body strikes from Inigaki and a good low kick. High kick from Inigaki. Uh, Yamiya ate it like a sandwich and has used it to hit a nice trip into Inigaki's guard. Frog kick by Inigaki. Back to standing. Landing some nice strikes. Poor knee. Uh, slap right on the bell there, and the boys are gonna shake hands and bow at each other. I don't remember who won this one, so we're gonna actually wait around for the decision, because the judges will have to table that, because we did not have any rope escapes or downs. Despite that, quite a fun little fight. Ingaki, of course, used his uh, experience and his greater confidence in the ring to... Uh, outfight, I believe, Keiichiro Yamamiya, and I think the judges are going to agree with me. Uh, they're just grabbing all their slips uh, now. Good thing about Pancras is that they had the referees on rotation, but the referees and judges were the same people, so they were actually educated about fighting. One for Inigaki. One draw? That's understandable. Two for Inigaki. And well-deserved win for Katsuomi Inigaki. I hope you enjoyed that, ladies and gentlemen, and I will see you next time.